First and foremost, it was a uh, fantastic opportunity for me personally uh, to take the step as a head coach. And uh, really when I looked at Binghamton, there are three questions that came to mind. Um, number one, is this, a, is this a university I believe in? Number two, is this a place where I can recruit to? And number three, is this a place where I can win? And unequivocally, without question, um, the answer was a big yes to all three of them. Um, you look at the academic setting, you look at the proximity to some of the top soccer clubs in the country, and then um, you look at the America East and the facilities and how wide open the conference is for women's soccer. I knew, okay, this is a place where I can recruit great student athletes here, and that that uh, you know, we could, on an annual position, uh, be competing for America's championships and NCAA tournaments. I was able to meet with most of the team during the selection process um, on one of the on-campus interviews. Um, so got to hear some of their thoughts and some of the things that they'd be looking for. Um, so, uh, so I was able to take a lot of that feedback going forward. Um, currently I am um, considering um, a small pool of candidates as far as people that I would like to bring on to staff as well. Um, these are people that I know would be trustworthy and loyal to, uh, to me and then also um, reflect the values of Binghamton and, um, and also would play the style of soccer that, that I'm looking to coach. Um, that we would be um, a team that would be a um, possession style oriented team, um, attacking, exciting in, in, uh, in, our, in our offensive play, um, hard to break down in our defensive play, and um, also would do all the right things on and off the field. Sure. Well, right now it's good that I'm here with having a couple weeks before the student athletes do arrive, um, which which is nice. I can kind of immerse myself. You know, I'm meeting with the trainers, strength and conditioning, academic advising. You know, so getting to learn a lot of the support staff and find out about systems and, and schedules and things like that. Um, one thing that's going to be really important is when the student athletes do arrive back is really setting the tone, setting the culture. They are hungry. I know they want more, um, and and uh, you know it's it's going to be it's going to be difficult at times um, because we're going to be trying to feel each other out, learn new things. Um, however, knowing that that it is going to be tough, it is going to be difficult at points. We are going to be sore at times, um, but knowing that if we can do that, we're going to see results of our labor. And if we do that, like I said, I mean we will be in a position to to win games come this fall, and uh, you know make America East postseason. And at, at that point, it's pretty wide open. Um, so there are going to be some, some, uh, some good times, there are going to be certainly some obstacles to overcome, um, and, and, and I know they're just ready to move ahead forward with that. So really the biggest thing is just setting the tone, setting the culture, what's the expectation, what are the minimum standards. Um, standards can't be easily accessible because then it's too easy and then we're not competing like we should be. Um, so it's going to be a high standard um, that, uh, that will be expected, and if we do that we'll be, we'll be expecting to, uh, to compete with anybody. Um, I've got a very good connection with some of the strongest uh, club teams in the Northeast. Um, I've already had a number of club coaches that are looking to um, have strong ties with Binghamton because they know about the, uh, the academic reputation and, and, and what this program is fully capable of. Um, certainly my, uh, my past recruiting connections um, at Syracuse and Boston College, I like to use a lot of those connections as well because um, there, there, there are players certainly that can, that can be impact players here at Binghamton and, and, and in the America East. Um, I do pride myself on having connections with those coaches, being able to, uh, um, to, to, to sell the, the positive aspects of, of, of university, which here at Binghamton there are many. Um, especially for um, a woman soccer player, you know, if they're looking for a great academic experience and a great balance with uh, athletic soccer experience, um, they're going to find that here. Um, so in, in that regard, it's, a, it's an easy sell, and it's just a matter of me evaluating talent, making sure I can get those kids on campus, show them everything that I have in my vision, um, the facilities, the other leadership people we have here, and then, uh, you know, really bringing the, the type of players that are going to make Binghamton proud and, and get us to compete on an annual level. Knowing that there's um, 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 a strong community here in Binghamton and Central New York, for that matter. Uh, definitely want to keep the, strong, the, the strongest players here home. Um, you know, I, I want them to know locally. There's a great opportunity for, for you to be seen, um, to represent your community. Um, so that is important. Um, I do certainly want to branch out out of the state as well. 
because um, I know, you know, when, when you're at Binghamton, it is, you know, in, in my opinion, the, the premier uh, state university in New York, but certainly a great destination for out-of-state players as well. And, and uh, when you have um, the reputations as, as one of the preeminent public institutions in the Northeast, um, certainly that's a big draw to, to out-of-state students as well. Um, so really, from a recruiting standpoint, Central New York, really all of New York, um, Long Island, Western New York, um, knowing the connections that I have in New Jersey, um, Pennsylvania, New England, um, the D.C. metro area. Um, there's, there's a lot of great soccer talent. Um, you know, those, are, those are all hotbeds for, uh, for women's soccer, so certainly we like to tap into those resources. You know, at, at, at Boston College, we, we had a good three-year run when, when I was there. Um, you knew the players were, were very competitive, you know, within practice, and that really showed on the field. Um, there was a certain mentality they carried with, uh, they carried with them in the, in the strength room. Certainly, um, they, they exhibited a lot of good qualities off the field as well um, in, in terms of um, community relations and things like that. Um, so I think what, one thing that I'm going to try to do is that we'll have that type of atmosphere here. Um, will work just as hard as any top 20 program in the country. Um, so, um, um, you know, so in terms of, you know, what's expected, say, some of the premier college soccer programs, certainly we're going to carry that here um, in terms of expectations, demands, the standards. Um, so I, I'd like to bring a lot of that here in terms of the past experience that I've had as well.